In this video, we take a look at the top 10 survival games coming in 2022. The Day Before is an open world survival MMO game with zombie elements. The game is set in the United States after a deadly pandemic where zombies and survivors are killing each other for food, weapons, and even cars. I think this game is a combination of DayZ, The Last of Us, and The Division. This game will have PvP and PvE elements. To survive, players must look for materials. Players are required to travel the streets of America alone or with friends while surviving against zombies and other opposing players. The day before will be released for Xbox Series X and S and PlayStation 5 after PC. The Lord of the Rings Return to Moria For Lord of the Rings fans, there is a new game for you called The Lord of the Rings Return to Moria. But if you expect an action and adventure like Shadow of Mordor, then you will not get it in this game. The reason is from the video shown this game will bring the survival multiplayer co-op genre. We will act as a group of dwarves who will adventure into Mount Moria which is famous from its abundant gold resources. Six players will team up to survive, craft, build and explore the iconic and vast mine. However, it has been confirmed that the game will be released in spring 2023 for PC. Currently, the studio does not seem to have plans to bring the game to the console. Do you think you are interested in going back on an adventure to Mount Moria? If you are enjoying this video, please subscribe and share the video. Dune Awakening is the latest survival game from Funcom, which has also developed Conan Exiles and is likely to be on a much larger scale than that game. You have to survive on a cruel life of the planet Arrakis. On the planet Arrakis, there's a colossal sandworms that can even eat a space tank. Besides, there are big monsters that are hard to beat. There are also big sandstorms and you must be able to create shelter to survive the storm. Will you be a robber waiting for a big opportunity? Or you will look for other players to create a strong faction to dominate Arrakis? Unfortunately, there is still no exact date revealed by Funcom for this game. But currently, Funcom is opening registration for those of you who later want to take part in the beta test period. You can register on their official website. Dune Awakening will be released for PS5, Xbox Series X and S and PC. State of Decay 3 is another part of the survival action game in an open post-apocalyptic world full of zombies. Players control a small community of survivors and explore the map for supplies to survive, recruiting other The first trailer for State of Decay 3 shows a terrifying and isolated scene in the mountains where the hunter becomes hunted. From the trailer, State of Decay 3 is set in a snowy area filled with infected animals which is a major feature in the game. About this game, however, they have confirmed that the game will be released later on the Xbox Series X and S and also PC. Rooted is a post-apocalyptic survival game. By the year 2100, you are one of the few survivors. You will explore the ruins of a past civilization that collapsed due to a global bacteriological war. You can create your camp in the forest, in the village, or in the city center, alone or in collaboration with your friends. To develop your camp and improve your living conditions, you need to collect remains and objects, recover items, or even craft new ones that you learn to craft along the way. And for added realism, your team or others can join your gaming sessions whenever they want.
And of course not all of them are harmless, you will meet other humans too, who are also trying to make their way to a better life by taking your resources. There are also dangerous animals that will hunt you. There is currently no known information on rooted release date. Frostpunk may be a strategy survival game that has a unique concept and theme that makes the game memorable for many games. Similar to the prequel, players must defend human life from the main threat, namely areas full of snow and all dangers that lurk, including conflicts between citizens. As before, players will try to keep the existing people alive from various problems. Final scene where a man is branded a liar with the words liar on his chest. Starting from the cold weather that continues to be dangerous, oil resources must be regulated. During that 30 year gap, the life within Frostpunk had progressed. Frostpunk 2 doesn't have an exact release date, but you can wishlist the game right now via Steam, Epic Game Store, and GOG. Flatland is a city building game with survival elements set in the world destroyed by climate change. Your job is to help humanity survive by leading a group of survivors. Of course, the world has changed. Unlike the world we know today, the land has been submerged due to floods and replaced by islands, swamps. Just like other city building games, you start by scavenging for resources, rediscovering technology. To collect rare resources, you need to explore the world island by island and maintain peace between the different factions as you try to rebuild society. The game is scheduled to release on November 15, 2022. Nightingale is an upcoming survival crafting game. In the game, you will explore the world where you can move between realms by using access. That access is from the car. In this game, you will play a character who is in the middle of nowhere. Throughout the game, you are required to kill enemies to get item drops and continue to collect lots of resources that you can later craft. The items that you have collected can later be crafted according to the provision in the game. Each combination of items will produce different crafting in the form of cards. Nightingale develops lots of alternative game plots that you can try one by one. These choices will later appear according to the cards you get from your own crafting. This game also provides a co-op feature that makes you free to explore the world in the game with your friends. But unfortunately, Nightingale announced that they have decided to delay the launch until sometime in the first half of 2023. Gord is a city-building adventure strategy game with survival elements. You will lead the tribe of Dawn, leading them to treacherous forests and creating settlements that will protect them from the many threats that lurk in the area, be it attacks from other clans, beasts or supernatural forces. You will be given several missions and explore the scary forbidden land. Interact with scary creatures and gods who will later shape the personality of your community and grow tribal settlements. Undertake various quests and random encounters that will take you deep into the wilderness to hunt legendary creatures. Uncover ancient secrets and defeat deadly scourges. There is no definite release date for Gord yet. The plan is that this game will be released in 2022 for PC. Game Sons of the Forest is the first person survivor horror game, the sequel to the one of the best horror games in 2018 The Forest. However, again, fans of survivor horror games have to wait a little longer because this one game has to be postponed again. Developer N Night Games recently announced the delay until February 2023. Sons of the Forest follows the same premise as its predecessor, The Forest, where players must be able to survive in a forest full of humanoid monsters. 
New features are presented, such as changing seasons that affect the resources that players must collect and the dangers that players must face. For example, food source will be very abundant during spring and summer. However, during winter, players must conserve food while fighting off mutants. And of course, there's also a co-op feature, so you and your friends can work together to survive in the deadly wilderness. In which games are you really interested? Please put your thoughts in the comments down below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video. Goodbye.